it's Jenny Sparrow at WeNeedAVacation.com. Welcome to Escape TV, where each episode we get you back to the Cape and Islands. This episode is a very special episode for us because not only are we celebrating the beginning of summer, which we're all excited about, but we're doing it live. Um, so I'm a little nervous, please bear with me. I've never done any live sort of situation like this before. Um, we're gonna start things off by visiting the island of Martha's Vineyard. I was lucky enough to get there this past week um, with Becky. We did some sightseeing, we saw some beautiful things, ate some yummy food, and visited with some lovely homeowners. Let's take a peek. One of the things that's different about the vineyard is it's just so easygoing. When you come to the vineyard, there are no suits on Martha's Vineyard. If you want a suit and live on Martha's Vineyard, it's, it's mothy. Even the bankers on Martha's Vineyard don't wear suits. This is an easygoing, relaxed community. It's the friendliest place, especially Oak Plus. Oak Plus is a porch town and everybody sits on their porch and everybody knows everybody, even if you've only been here for five days. If you're on your porch, you're friends with everybody in your neighborhood. And that's the reason why you should come here. That was a lot of fun going to Martha's Vineyard. It was a great trip. And now I want to introduce everyone to someone who is blowing up a little bit around here, local boy from Dennis, um, owner of Cape Cloth, Sean Fitzpatrick. What's going on, guys? Sean, How you doing? Thanks for visiting with us and hanging out. Yeah, this is probably the closest I get to a vacation. Nice. This is good. This is good. Good. Is good. Good. Yay. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? So, uh, Cape native, love Cape Cod, grew up in South Dennis started a socially conscious clothing brand called Cape Cloth and make extremely soft clothes that donate a dollar of every purchase to a local nonprofit capabilities. Um, they help uh, individuals with developmental, acquired and intellectual disabilities with job opportunities on Cape. And um, just really, it's been, uh, it'll be four years coming up in October and uh, just looking forward to another great summer on Cape Cod. Yay, and Cape Cod is a fun place to be. Awesome. Um, and having, I grew up here as well, and we have some fun places to visit all the For time. Sure. Favorite For things sure. to do. What are your, some of your favorite things? Um, you actually have a Jeep that is outfitted with Cape Cloth gear that yeah. you like to take places. Where yeah, you like to so, so one thing that I'm doing this summer is um, trying to experience and bring uh, the Cape Cloth, basically bring Cape Cloth everywhere around Cape Cod while tying in cool experiences on Cape. So um, there, I have a, a Jeep that you'll probably see if you come down here. There's a big trailer off the back. I had a local artist, uh, Andy Jacob, AKA Soul Controller, paint it all up. And want to bring it around to different, like all the different beaches, um, Cape League baseball games, a couple different festivals uh, with artisans and makers coming up. So uh, really just looking to mix it up with everybody who comes on down here and um, show you guys what it's all about. Give you a little like, taste about you know what Cape Cod is all about and uh, have some fun. Nice. And one of the favorite things, Cape Codders, we like to do is take our vehicles out on the outer beach. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. I say like when I'm not um, driving around on the roads, the one thing I think if you haven't been down here to do it, uh, there's a misconception about off roading that um, it's like an environmental hazard or something like that. But in reality, it's been going on for over 50 years. Um, it's all controlled and regulated, so we got some great beaches like Nosset Outer, Race Point in Provincetown, uh, Sandy Neck in Barnstable, and I'm trying to think if I'm with. There are a few in Dennis, but there's always like different environmental issues um, with them going on. So sometimes they're open, sometimes they're not. But it's always fun to take all your gear, take your friends, get out there and spend the entire day. Sometimes even a little bit at night, light some bonfires, and um, just really, really enjoy the the natural beauty of Cape Cod and its element. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And another favorite thing that um, visitors, we like to recommend that they try and do, and they probably already come here wanting to mm -hmm. do, that we enjoy doing is um, whale watching, boating. Yeah, it's awesome. I know that um, it's kind of, it's cool. When you grow up here, you get to go on some school field trips, either out of Barnstable or Provincetown, but um, there's a lot of different towns now that have gotten involved with it. And I think that um, 
as somebody who grew up here, you kind of take it for granted. So it's cool when you show it to somebody who maybe has never seen an animal that big uh, up close. It's pretty wild. Sometimes even um, on the beaches in Provincetown from the shore, you can see uh, whale tails popping up and, um, you know, spouts going off and things like that. So it's pretty wild. Um, I don't know if I'd want to be you know, near on a paddleboard or a kayak or something like that. But it's pretty, you know, when you're in a big enough boat, it's pretty good. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. For sure. And you see a lot of other things out there like dolphins. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, dolphin seals. paws. And yeah, it's like, it's wild. I mean, you just, you forget, you know, the earth is 70% water. So there's a, right? there's a lot going on a underneath there. Yeah. And fishing, right? Yeah, big time. Um, off of, uh, I know, like Monomoy and Chatham, uh, with Fish in the Rips, which is uh, kind of a different experience for some people. If uh, you can ask people in Chatham about it, but it's kind of a different fishing where you're you're backing into different tides and casting your line out. You can go near Cape Cod Canal. Um, you can do a lot of surf casting off a lot of these beaches. So good luck in finding the good spots because I don't know how many people are going to share those. Um, <laughs> But there are a lot of places to go out and do it. So a lot of angling out there. So it's sweet. Yeah, nice, nice. And what about, I have a favorite town on the Cape, and I think it might be one of your favorites as well, <laughs> Provincetown, otherwise known as P-Town. Yeah, P-Town. I was going to say, I was like, I don't, you know, I don't want to pick favorites. And right, no, I mean, we like don't people, say the, that. People, the people in yeah. Dennis might be mad at me because no, I'm, I'm kind of a Dennis lifer. But um, no, Provincetown, as far as, uh, you know, the culinary stuff, the mm -hmm. art stuff, um, the entire scene is awesome. Uh, you know, I would totally recommend spending, if you could do a day and a night, stay overnight, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but because I don't, you know, I, I think if, if you wanted to gorge, you could eat your way through it in one day, but there's just so many great places to eat. You might want to space that one out over two days. And like I said, tons of great, um, tons of great artwork and just a great overall scene. Um, you know, it's highly, highly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend right. P-Town. Yeah. Make a day of it. You can do a whale watch out of P-Town. Yeah, like I said, right? a, day is, a day is cool, but I would love, you know, like if you could do a day and a night or even do a few just um, because there's just, there's a lot to do. You can see like the race point side and the natural beauty of the beach side, but yeah. then commercial street um, and then really some of the architecture even on some of the side roads out there. So, it, you know, it's a, it's a full day for sure. It is awesome. Yay. Yeah. Um, and something else you can catch in P-Town and really throughout the Cape are live music situations, right? Yeah, so Cape Cod Melody Tent in Hyannis uh, and also um, kind of a, a sleeper, a local pick. And I don't know if people are going to be mad at me for sharing this, but uh, the Pay Em at Art Center in mm -hmm. uh, Truro. They mm -hmm. just had the Whalers play last night, which is sweet. Um, and they, they get some great acts and it's a really, uh, it's, a, it's an old, I uh, believe, Air Force base. Um, the Cape Cod Melody Tent in Hyannis is also these we have a few different venues, Katuit Center for the Arts. Um, they're smaller venues, so you really, I mean, when a website says that there are no bad seats in the house, they're, yeah. they are telling the truth. It's not, um, you know, I mean, it's not just a marketing thing. They're all, they're like really, really intimate venues, so it's cool. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Um, just to rewind a little bit, you had mentioned earlier that you might not want to stand up paddleboard or kayak necessarily when you're close to whales, maybe. But it you'd is, have to go pretty deep. But I was just right. saying, like, you're just throwing the possibility out there, like, right? But there yeah. are plenty of places where you can do it where it's a little safer. Yeah, right? for sure. So like the the kayaking scene, and there's there's so many different places. Um, I know that they. I mean, shameless plug. They sell Cape Cloth at Ride Away Adventures <laughs> in, in um, New Seabury and Pocasset. Um, or actually Pompanessa, I'm sorry, that was totally wrong. Um, but they, you can go into like estuaries. Um, we have all kinds of little creeks, ponds. There's all different types of environments that you might not necessarily be able to get to with a boat, a power boat. Um, that's, they're awesome for kayaking and they're awesome for stand up paddle boarding. And some of even the fishing that I was talking about before uh, can only be accessed via kayak. So I think I've seen one fly fisherman do it off of a stand up paddle board. So that amount of balance and workout is uh if you're hardcore go for it but you know kayaking and, and stand up paddle boarding there's a ton ton of ponds um rivers so i mean there's, there's there's all kinds of stuff to do on cape as far as activities and there's enough space for you to get out there and, and not bump into a lot of people so. nice Yay. Yeah. A lot of fun things. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for yeah, coming you by. Got you got um, Sean has an awesome Instagram account that we like to follow. He's on Facebook. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you yeah. digitally or in cyber world and where you might be selling things? Yeah, you can really like, I appreciate real. you guys are really pumping me up. I mean, I don't, I mean, it, they're setting the bar kind of high, so I don't want to <laughs> let you down if you, if you go out there and check it out. But um, C A P E C L O T H, Cape Cloth. Pretty much everywhere. So Facebook, Instagram, 
Snapchat, Pinterest. If you just type in Cape Cloth, all one word, that'll get, get you where you need to go. And then also capecloth.com. Um, and all of our pop-up events. Got a pretty, uh, you know, pretty regularly maintained blog where I'll tell you about uh, different things that are going on in the Cape and then the, the social media. So reach out, say what's up, and uh, hopefully see you soon. Yay! Thanks, John. Thanks. Very cool. So let's see here. We have visited the vineyard just a couple minutes ago. We talked about the Cape. Um, and now we're going to throw it out to Nantucket. I actually just was out there a little while ago once Good again times. doing sightseeing. Yeah. Yes, and seeing some colorful people. So let's go visit Nantucket. I am a native born and raised here and left for 35 years after high school and I've been back for 17 and a half years now. I love it. It's great. You meet great people. You know, it's all nice tourist people. Everyone's been kind. Well, there's a lot of things to see. There's a lot of history here. There's beaches and nice clean beaches and water, you know. Um, do some sightseeing, go to the brewery. Really good restaurants on the island. One of my favorites is the Ships Inn. Um, right, there's plenty others, you know. It's, I can name a lot of restaurants, but I don't think there's a bad restaurant on this island, to be honest with you. Nantucket. Um, one other person I was, and me and Becky were both very lucky to meet up with is the lovely, lovely Holly from um, Nantucket Black Book. If you want to know anything about Nantucket, where to eat, where to sleep, where to shop, where to whatever, she is your girl. Uh, she has a shop called um, Happy Place where we went to go visit her. And here's our little clip about that. One of the hidden gems here on Nantucket is a place called Sanford Farm, okay? And the way to enjoy Sanford Farm is a three mile loop walk that gets you um, a mile and a half out and then it opens up to the beautiful Madikin area and then takes you back for a mile and a half to so that perfect three mile walk. On your way afterwards, you can head out to Madikin, okay? And Madikin is the place to watch the sunset on the island in the summertime. Pair that with a Madikin mystery at Millie's and some uh, Starbucks quesadillas and you were in good shape for having one of the best times ever. Thanks, Holly, for sharing that moment with us. It was really nice to meet you. Um, and now, as in every episode, we like to end with a quote from you guys out there. Uh, so here we go, from you guys. Karen says, we get back to the Cape every June. Walking along the National Seashore, biking the Cape Cod Rail Trail, and enjoying the luscious seafood. Cape Cod and the islands are our idea of heaven. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining us on our live episode. This is what I thought it was going to be. I was so nervous. Um, and thank you again to Sean. Thank you to Holly. Thank you to everybody. Um, Bob, the taxi driver. We had a wonderful time. And here's to a happy, wonderful, exciting summer. Hopefully we'll see you on the beach on the Cape and Islands. Until next time.